Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday morning in front of the Humphrey Hawkins testimony. We also have Italian elections this weekend. Should be fun. Let's look at the Euro first off. Uh, many reasons, politically perhaps to be short Euro. Technically this is looking very constructive. We do like buying euros through this line here which now comes in at 51. Ideally you want this to get through that 200 hour moving average which comes in at 70. Should be initial resistance up there. It's probably a tradable 20 points between 50 and 70. Uh, the brave will buy more on an hourly break of 70 for a move back up to 124.50, which of course doesn't make sense considering Italy might elect a fascist or Berlusconi or Grillo, or, but um, you know we've seen this before going into events. The market is already short euros via options. The big guys already have this on. No one's gonna, no one's gonna go. Oh, gee. Italian elections this week. Let's put this trade on. They put this trade on months ago. So the market's already short. Usually we're due for a squeeze going into these events. And so we kind of like this setup. Euro through the highs. Euro yen, similar, similar view. Broke 75 last night, traded up to 07. Capped by this uh, same 200 hour job. 132.16 today. Based on all the risk metrics, and if you look at the dailies here in, in uh, Euro Yen, got our little two tails here. Clearly a higher high today. Um, the direction is right hand side, as we say, Euro Yen. So you want to collect Euro Yen on any sort of move lower, maybe 65.55. Just looking to grab some mess as it goes lower. And, you know, our expectation is this is going to probably trade up to 133.10. So you got you got 100 points to play with here. Cable, not looking too good. The Bloomberg headlines and the Wall Street Journal headlines. Let's see what the FT says this morning. I haven't even looked. FT headlines, I'm sure, are similar. No, Qualcomm. Anyway, uh, Wall Street and Bloomberg are basically saying, talking about the EU 100 page uh, presentation for Brexit, which basically screws over May. Uh, we're back in the, this is going to be a messy divorce deal. So Cable is taking the brunt of that. Not much to do here, uh, except just be careful if you're long. You know, yesterday's low is now going to be important to see if we're going to start any kind of trend lower. I'm not sure we are, but 139.28, just keep it in mind. 40 points from here. Euro sterling, same deal. Middle of nowhere. Let's not get excited either way. It could be soft Brexit. This could be amazing for the UK. This could be a shitty Brexit. It could be shitty for the UK changes every day. Uh, we know Euro Sterling gets quite interesting above 89.20. It gets really interesting below 86.90. The rest of it is mush. Let's have a quick look at Aussie Yen. Kind of fits in with our um, risk on Yen cross higher deal. This, this will also get you out of trouble during Humphrey Hawkins because he's that's going to be a dollar move later today um, so this cross trades will insulate you from that volatility a little bit uh, Aussie Yen looks even more constructive you had the gravestone doji higher highs I bet the 200 hours close yeah so again we need to get through these 200 hour moving averages to sort of confirm change in trend ES uh, has already confirmed, and 
it's way higher. I don't know why currencies are lagging, but they are. This looks like it's going to trade up to 28.10 in the next couple of days. That's the S&P 500 futures. Anyway, we're going to be looking right-hand side Euro Yen today, right-hand side Euro, uh, and Aussie Yen as well. That's for the European session, and then we will uh, have a new look at things going into New York, getting ready for testimony from uh, Mr. Powell. Good luck, guys. Talk to you later. Ciao.